in sectors such as transport with train control systems, medical patient care, automotive and mobile communications, there are safety critical implications. Failures can endanger human lives and the environment, implying serious damage to industry and social infrastructures, jeopardizing confidentiality and privacy, or undermine the viability of whole business sectors. It is common knowledge that the security of most systems is directly related to the quality of the underlying software. Based at Fraunhofer Institute Focus Berlin and in cooperation with more than 30 partners, the ITIA 2 Diamonds project developed a series of systematic model-based risk analysis, test and monitoring approaches for security testing of software systems with advanced model-based security testing methods enabling the early identification of design vulnerabilities. Key to quantifying the success of the Diamond's innovations and steering the project came in the shape of use cases. We applied risk-based security testing, advanced fuzz testing, monitoring, autonomous testing methods and open source tools for security testing. In Diamond's, access points have been analyzed that introduce potential vulnerabilities by allowing external parties to interface with the car's internal communication system. Such vulnerabilities may be used to access private data, to inject malicious code, or to start a denial-of-service attack. System integrators, testers, software quality assurers, and software buyers will be able to evaluate the quality of software before using it, and researchers will be able to investigate and establish new knowledge in systems testing. Diamonds has improved the practices of industrial-grade security testing on a European scale. The results have initiated European standardization and have been adopted by major industrial players in banking, industrial automation, automotive and smart card industry. Diamonds, a European security testing solution designed by European actors to preserve security, data privacy and thus a piece of European sovereignty.